This video is about the Cobalt Inspection Camera model number 59010. And no, I'm not going to drive you nuts with having a box opening and all that boring stuff. What I want to do is cut right to the chase with this thing. Uh, I don't know about you, but I've been looking for a good inspection camera. And what I mean by that, I bought one before it was a DeWalt. I mean, this thing, it looked great, but it didn't perform worth a damn. It was over $300. You could use the standard DeWalt battery that comes with all the other tools. And it had the detachable screen that you could you could hold different from the actual housing that had the probe on it. And the bottom line on that was it was nothing but a pile of junk. I took it back the second day I had it. Now, since then, I've been searching for a good inspection camera. Next thing I bought was a little handheld general tool inspection camera. It had about a two-inch display on it, and it didn't record video, and it didn't take pictures. Well, I don't know about you, but when I'm looking at something, I want a picture or a video to go back and reference. All right, call me old and senile. Call me JB for short. That's a joke, folks. So anyway, I found this cobalt inspection camera. And I said, okay, I'll give it a shot. And I thought, well, okay. Looking at the price, it was about 90 bucks. And I thought, well, don't have great expectations for it. Well, I got news for you. I'm very satisfied with it. Now, this is like only the second week I've had it. And I've been running it through its paces and... I just wanted to give you an idea of what it looks like. If you're like me, you want to see what the video and the pictures look like. Because why? That's why you're buying the damn thing. Okay, so let's get into the videos and the pictures. And uh, I'll try to give you a rundown, a blow-by-blow description of what's, what, well, what you're looking at. Okay, first of all, we got two sinks in the master bedroom. Neither one of them are being used because both of the faucets are broke. Now, this one has still got the plunger still in it. and It was kind of tricky getting the cable down past it. But as you can see, the video picks up really good inside the drain pipe there. It's coming down to the elbow where the, I want to call it the grease trap or the hair trap is. What I'm doing is checking to see if there's any cat hairs in it, because the cats like to hang around in the bathroom. As you can see, it picks up very good. Now, some people complain, oh, you can't focus it. Yes, you can by moving the cable in and out. That's how you focus it. Some people say, oh, I can't get any contrast in it. Well, you do that by adjusting the light level in it. As you can see, this thing picks up pretty darn good video. If you notice a white stuff around inside the pipe, that's alkali deposits. We have a high alkali content in the water out here. Anyway, that's down toward the bend. Notice I adjusted the light a little brighter. That's all the little, like, cat litter things off the cat's feet and all that stuff. There's hair in there, but that's dry because it hadn't been used. All right, that's the first sink. All right, we're backing up. You can see the hairs in there real clear. I know, it's kind of gross, but what do you expect? You're using a inspection camera in a drain. But you can see the, cal the not the calcium, but the alkali build up in it. Now what I'm doing right there, it's jerking back and forth because I'm trying to get the camera back past that plunger. And it was kind of tricky getting it back out of there. This is the second sink. If you notice, it doesn't have the plunger in it. And it's a, got a lot better access to it. Once again, you're looking at a, just about exactly what was in the other one. 
this was easier to maneuver the cable in, but once again, you can see down there where it goes into the bend of the hair trap or the grease trap, whatever you want to call it. But it's uh, it's got very sharp, to me, very sharp video on it. Once again, you can see the alkali deposit. This sink's been in this house since 1991. So there's quite a bit of buildup in there. Once again, the sink down there is dry because we haven't been using one of them because I hadn't got the money yet to replace the, the faucets on it. But I think you can get a good idea how well this little inspection camera works. Once again, this is a lot easier to manipulate because it doesn't have the plunger in it. You can see the plunger rod on it when I pull it back out. Next, we're going to show you some pictures or snapshots that was taken by the inspection camera. This is the quality of the picture. This is down at the end of the, I guess you call it water trap, grease trap, hair trap, whatever. But the uh, pictures turned out pretty good too. Uh, so let's show you the next couple of pictures to give you an idea of what they look like. All right, this is the next picture. If you look real careful, you can see strands of carpet down there, cat litter, hairs. Once again, this is down there at the bottom at the hair trap or the S-bend in the pipe in the bottom of the sink. But like I said, if you want to focus it, all you do is move the cable in and out and adjust the light level. This thing's got great features on that. You can also rotate the screen to four different angles if you want. Uh, this picture is kind of self-explanatory. At the top, at the 12 o'clock position, you can see how well it focused the hair in the drain. Once again, you can see the alkali build up in the pipe. And then in the very center, that's the bottom where the pipe turns to go in that S trap or hair trap, whatever. I think for the price that this little camera works really great. It's got good features to it. And like I said, it sure beat the heck out of that DeWalt inspection camera I had. All right, this is the last picture. It's pretty much the same as the other one. It's the same location, same drain. But anyway, you can see the clarity of the picture. It's good enough. I mean, what do you expect for $90? I mean, like I said, it beat my little handheld general tool inspection camera as well as that $300 DeWalt camera. So there you have it, folks. I hope this gives you an idea how well this little camera works. And uh, if you're interested in it, well, check it out and see if you like it yourself.